apologize for my super tired face but I'm filming this super late and I excuse my like lounging wear but it's super late it's 9:30, and I figured I would film my glossy box video but yeah so at this point I don't even know how I look I feel super tired and I'm in my lounging wear because um, this is pretty much what I wear whenever I'm at home so excuse my overly tired look if you're catching up on it but I wanted to film the glossy box video because I really wanted to go up this week because it's just been sitting here it got here before Christmas and I didn't have time to film um, the unboxing video and on Christmas week um, four videos went up but, but three of them were vlogs and another one was about my Invisalign so I did upload four videos but they were primarily more vlog style and usually um, glossy box videos believe it or not take a lot of time because I try to add the value of each product and the total value of the box and you know the description and all that so they do take longer than what they might appear to here I just opened the shipping box but I haven't peeked um, I think the only product that I do believe is in here is a nail polish and honestly it's been so long that I don't even remember which one it is um, right at the top um, underneath um, this box between the shipping box came and I'm super excited about this came a Michael Todd True Organics coupon and I've been wanting to try something by um, Michael Todd for such a long time you guys know how I don't do everything natural but I every time I am able to I love to switch to natural skincare and mostly all my skincare right now is natural you guys know that I use a lot of stuff by Vitacost not by Vitacost uh, it's Andalou Naturals I get it through Vitacost and I also get the Glow Naturals Argan Oil by Vitacost and that is a Vitacost brand um, so I am trying to switch slowly uh, for more natural products and that are non-damaging to the environment, non-tested on animals, and just better for my skin and health in general. And I've heard great things about Michael Todd. Now I do believe, now don't quote me on this, that they are on the more expensive side. I definitely am under the impression that they're more expensive than um, Glow Naturals and Andalou Naturals. So, you know, the fact that there's a coupon, 35% off, um, and free shipping if you order 50 or more which you know I hate when companies do oh free shipping on a hundred or more like that's you know you're pushing it okay so there's a card that says happy holidays and it looks like this I think it's coming off way too white um, on camera but oh there's a oh my gosh I'm so excited okay so there is a Michael Todd um, product in here and oh the sticker is different it's a holiday sticker again I think it's coming off washed out um, but yeah I'm not gonna read the description just gonna go over the products and you know I'll insert the price as I always do and the value of the box so let me start out by the nail polish which was uh, what I told you about so Nails Inc, I love this brand. I think I've gotten one or two. No, one uh, in Glossy Box. And I think the other nail polish we got by, in Glossy Box was by Spa Rituals. But all of these brands, you can get them at Ulta. So they're not like, you know, and you can get them not in the drugstore, par drugstore part. Um, you get them in the salon part. So these are expensive brands and this one is definitely bigger than the other nails ink nail polish that came in the other glossy box but this color is called Victoria and it looks like a very deep plummy color perfect for the winter I am so excited about this really really excited yes it's a very deep burgundy and you know what I the other nail polish was blue which is not a very typical color for me which I've used it like three times but it's not something I would go out and buy but I would definitely go buy um, this one so moving on uh, let me see so there's the cream oxygenating cream moisturizing natural and organic I love that uh, is this for the face I don't know 
I think so. I think it's a face moisturizer because it says the essential needs of hydration for all skin types. So I think it's a face moisturizer. It doesn't have too much of a scent. Mmm, it seems very moisturizing. The consistency of it. But it's by the brand Nawabe. Never heard of it. But this is what it looks like. Let me just see whether these are full size or not. Nails Inc. Um, 0.33 ounces. Okay, so this one's full size. 9.50 and this one's not going to be full size. It can't be. Now, uh, full size is 1.7 fluid ounces. This was one ounce, so it's not that far off. Um, so, and it's a pretty, it, it is a pretty good size. It just says that it has essential oils such as rosehip oil and sweet almond oil, and um, that keeps your skin balanced and fresh. So, yay for that! Um, I love this. So far, super happy. Love this nail polish perfect for the winter. Um, honestly, ever since I've been subscribed to Glossy Box, I don't buy as many nail polishes as I used to, just because once in a while I'll know, I usually know that a nail polish comes. And this is the third one, so. Now I just have to go to the Michael Todd one. I am so excited about this one. I'm really, I, I really am excited. It's so funny how I was like ranting about the coupon and how excited I am to go and like use it. And there's like a pretty good size Michael Todd product in here. And funny enough, I've heard great things, great things about this specific product. The pumpkin. So this one's the pumpkin nutrient rich facial mask. It moisturizes and nourishes all skin types except sensitive. Mine tends to be kind of sensitive. Um, I'm wondering. Oh, it's it's really shut. It has like the protective seal. So, I've heard great things about this pumpkin um, mask by Michael Todd. Now, my skin is very dry in the winter, normal in the summer, tends to be kind of sensitive, but it's not sensitive to all skincare products. It's sensitive if I use like a lot of glycolic acid and like a lot of harsh exfoliating products. Um, so it says all skin types except sensitive, I don't know. Why? Um, let me see. It might have glycolic acid. Yeah, it does. It says. I'm going to be very bummed if, if I'm sensitive to this because I've been waiting for so long to try a Michael Todd product and they have a, like a huge line. They have aloe vera, which is really good for sensitive skin. Uh, it usually calms it down even. Uh, they have so many products. so for this to come in here and I'm excited about it because I've heard great things but at the same time I'm kind of like scared now because it says all skin type except sensitive and it does have glycolic acid so it's definitely not the first time you get something by anatomicals um, I think this is probably the third product it's a shower gel so I guess it's a rose based shower gel because Mmm. I mean, definitely smells like roses, but I would like associate the smell to with something that my grandma would wear or have. Definitely not crazy. I mean, I would have been a lot happier if it was like lavender, coconut, um, I don't know, even honey, like those kinds of scents. The rose, I'm not too crazy because it smells like it's suited for like an older person but I don't mind either and I'll definitely I think I'm just gonna put this right away straight away in my shower so lastly there is um, an eyeliner and I think it's the full size it has to be let me see yes it's the full size now this is another um, eyeliner one of those pens um I'm not excited about this first I am more of a pencil eyeliner or just a gel form that you apply with like a brush like an angled brush and honestly it, it was either in last month's or the month before 
glossy box sent me um, one of these pens by another brand and I tried using it like once or twice and what had happened is I apply, I don't know, this one, I'm like speaking for the other one, but I would apply it on one eye and then by the time I switched on and I was trying to apply it on the other eye, the color wasn't as intense. So I would be left with black eyeliner on one eye and then gray eyeliner on the other one. So I wasn't a fan of that one that they sent me and I think I have it here. Let me see. Yes, it's the Be A Bombshell. So this one was definitely a bummer. Now I don't know if this brand is just like better quality, but again, I'm not super crazy. I would have never paid $19 for this. Um, oh. And now that I'm thinking, I'm bumped even more now that I think about it because I think I saw it um, not that long ago, um, Glossy Box was announcing like the products. And I remember seeing the nail polish. This was a long time ago because I didn't even remember the color, but I remember being excited about it, which I really am. And then I think they just announced, now that I think about it, a hand cream, which is like glycerine based. And it looked very similar to one that I like by Bath and Body Works. And apparently it came in some boxes, not all of them, and it didn't come in mine. And I would have rather so much more have that hand cream because my hands are like so dry that they're like bleeding and I can't seem to find a good hand cream that does anything good. And yeah, they're still really dry and I would have rather have that instead of the eyeliner. But other than that, um, I'll use this. I'll put it in the shower and you know, it's a plus. Um, not overly excited excited about the moisturizer because it's natural and you know I will always welcome um, trying new mo face moisturizers and then excited about the nail polish uh, super pretty color for the winter nail zinc has amazing quality and excited about Michael Todd kind of you know scared that this will cause me um, some sensitivity but hopefully not and excited by the coupon that comes in the box as well uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I tried to make it not as long as I usually do. Again, I'll list all the prices and the box value as I always do. So yeah, uh, comment down below and let me know if you got different products. So thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this